Craniosynostosis is a fusion of the growth plates in a baby's skull. Um, this can happen one in 2,000 children as a fairly random occurrence, often happens even in utero um, or during development. Um, so sometimes the diagnosis can become apparent when you're delivered. Um, now a normal child's skull has a very nice round shape all the way from the top. There are multiple growth plates on a child's skull. Up front is the metopic suture, which comes down here in between the eyes. Across the top, connecting to the soft spot or the fontanelle, are the coronal sutures. Back from the fontanelle, anteriorly to posterior, or front to back, is the sagittal suture. And then on the back of the child's head, we also worry about the lambdoid sutures as well. These serve a, a very important function during delivery, as you can imagine, allowing the bones of the skull to overlap during delivery for a safe uh, trauma-free event. But as the child's growing, these growth plates also allow for the brain to expand in a healthy round shape with enough uh, space uh, going forward. When one or more of these growth plates are fused, the overall shape of the child's head will be very predictable, but will be abnormal. And more importantly, we worry that there will be pressure on the developing brain that leads to developmental delays, uh, psychosocial impact as well. The diagnosis of craniosynostosis is first and foremost a physical examination. Um, your pediatrician can certainly notice if the skull is not growing in the right shape, or maybe you as a parent, sometimes you're a lot more attentive than a doctor is, can tell that your child's head shape maybe doesn't look like an older sibling or doesn't look like other people that you're uh, familiar with. So external shape is the first clue as to how um, your, your child is growing. Uh, folks, craniofacial surgeons who are well experienced in craniosynostosis can recognize the predictable shapes that come with individual growth plates being closed. Plain x-rays don't really help us a whole lot. The definitive test to uh, investigate for craniosynostosis is really a CAT scan. The CAT scan in young children often needs some form of uh, medicine to keep the baby still, not always uh, going to sleep like in the operating room with anesthesia, but sometimes a warm bottle of milk is enough to make a child sleep through a CAT scan. But the CAT scan gives us a clear picture of exactly what the skull looks like, and then we can build that into a three-dimensional image to have a much better uh, idea of what needs to be addressed. The treatment for craniosynostosis is, of course, a surgical correction. The growth plate that is fused and not uh, growing needs to be removed, and the overall shape of the developing skull needs to be reconstructed. As you can imagine, that's a very big operation, regardless of uh, uh, the specifics. And here at Helen DeVos, we certainly do that in a team approach. Um, we have excellent pediatric anesthesia providers. The surgery itself is coordinated between our craniofacial surgeon and um, our neuro pediatric neurosurgery team. Uh, working together, we can ensure optimum outcomes, both cosmetically and functionally, while maintaining a high degree of safety with uh, the input of our craniofacial um, surgeons and our neurosurgeons. Uh, the operation itself can vary in time depending on what the exact diagnosis is. One night postoperatively in the ICU, um, our intensivists will monitor all of your uh, vital signs and the progress of your child overnight. Um, and the vast majority of kids are out of the intensive care unit and heading to home within three days after surgery.